What's up, anime fans? And weeaboos alike. Today we've prepared a file from one of our old animations. And if you haven't seen Team Desu, then be sure to click the card on screen now. Good. Yeah, my favorite anime music. Yeah, this is really good anime music. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Can we just look at her eyes, please? <laughs> what, what style were we going for? Absurd anime. Hold on. That's the style we were going for. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks a little different from the storyboard. It's not too different, really. Look at her stupid arms. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they're Oof. like, there's no elbows. We used to do arms like that where they were just noodles. Yeah. Oh my god. There's... Yeah, her, her pendant had a pantsu on them. Wow, that's typical. Dude, that looks like a face. What? I see like <laughs> an eye squinting and a big forehead. Holy shit. Her role was the moe blob. And the moe blob is like the really cutesy <laughs> Holy shit. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, poo with turds. I mean, wait. Poop with, of boobs. Poop, poop with turds. Boobs. Poop of boobs. <laughs> Cutesy anime innocent. Kawaii desu. You know, that kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you guys pipe down, I'm trying to play the guitar. Oh, and loser. this guy, he was supposed to be the role of, uh, I'm really cool and edgy. And his character references, um literally just Ikuto from Shugo Kara. You know, this scene specifically, this like little bit, this is probably one of those moments in the history of our channel where I knew we were doing something stupid. Uh -huh. I knew we were doing something that wasn't funny, uh -huh. but I kept it anyway. Yeah. We were going to give him an actual guitar, but we didn't feel like drawing <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> we were like, yeah, he's just a loser anyway. Who actually wants to see a douche <laughs> with a guitar? Wait, how see... does he compare to the storyboard? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, we were gonna give him a fucking guitar. He looks oh. way more like... Are these their um, concept art designs too? Oh, they might be. we went into the references? Yeah, that was the original yep. design we had given him. The too, too cool, cool for school for guy. School. And it, it features their old uniforms, too. Yeah. And this one, like, she's just completely changed the pose. Yeah, um, so what happened here was there's this, um, I don't know what it was. I saw a gif of a Tsundere character, and she had orange hair. I think she's from an anime called GJ Club. She was really cute, so I just made a blue hair version elf of her. Wow, creative. Oh, overly anime. This whole animation was just anime cliches that are annoying. Yeah, oh. except for this one. This one's an anime cliche that doesn't get old. Putting Snoop Dogg in your, <laughs> well, he was Snoop in your anime. Lion at the time, and there's the character... Yeah, wait, hold on. Don't, don't just casually mention that. What? Snoop Dogg becoming Snoop Lion. Like, yeah. what a time he was going through. I don't he must know. have been going through an interesting time to go from a, Snoop Dogg a crisis. to Snoop Lion. Identity crisis. And his design stayed the same in the concept. I think his reason for becoming Snoop Lion was literally like, I'm a lion, grrr. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much it. Something like that. All right, so here we have the main character, the stupid idiot asshole who is supposed to be a combination of um, Inuyasha, Naruto, and Ichigo from Bleach. And he, he's got a fucking sword as the Tetsaiga from Inuyasha. Wait, you just stole it? Yeah, straight up. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you just like stole the weapon. Animal ears, whiskers, different colored eyes. He's definitely the main stupid character. And he's got like the voice of Goku. Yeah, yeah. What does the chalkboard say? Yeah, I don't really know what that is. That's a Naruto. Like, I, I know that, but I have no idea what it has to do with anything. It's just anime. It's like, is that like the anime philosophy? If, if you think of it, then you could do anything. Yeah. It's like that kind of, okay. Yeah. Anime's so stupid I when it comes to that. That <laughs> wasn't like, even in the Japanese version. He just said like a thing. Eh. Stop, stop, everyone stop. We're all friends here, what are you doing? Uh, all right, okay, okay there's a lot to uh, unpack. fucking break down out of here. 
Okay, so she overreacts. Look at all these fucking <laughs> glitter, like... Yeah? Look at all, it's unnecessary. Oh, yeah, for sure. It was done on purpose. Was any of this, like, copy and pasted? Or Probably. Was, are these just dots? I'm trying to find the pattern. I don't... I see copy and paste. I don't know. Emmy. I don't know. You were one to waste your time sometimes <laughs> on stuff like this. God. There's way too much going on in this. <laughs> it's, this was the typical... I, I'm the I'm the girl. You guys stop fighting. We're friends, please. You guys sure are rowdy. <laughs> stop fighting! Stop, please please! Stop fighting! <laughs> she's crying. Yeah, that was like the whole point. Like we're supposed to make it look like she's being just dramatic for no reason. <laughs> There's sparkles on her tears. Look at the sparkles. Yeah. Yo, dog. The new teacher's here. Damn. 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 Unnecessary. Yeah, I don't. I really don't understand this scene. He, he's like, wow, I wasn't expecting, and that's his reaction. And then I fuck up this line. The art's really cute, though, so. Yeah, the whole, like, all, most of the line delivery was really bad. But though it's reminiscent on bad uh, dubs in anime, I feel like, True. I feel like even though it wasn't perfect, people that saw should be our the excuse. charm in it. Yeah, that's our excuse for being bad. Oh, <laughs> like, I never even wait. noticed that. She, yeah, she has a completely, like, Full reaction here that's just not used. Just have the eyeball blinking. Oh. Like her mouth is open and everything. What the fuck? Yeah, that's like a full animation too. Aw man. Yeah, we were one thing we were good at was transitions. Like we could transition from scene to scene really well. So the idea of this scene was like, wow, she's all excited about something. And no, the boy she like saw her is she's gotta act like she doesn't fucking care. Yeah, because she's cool, and she's trying to attract the cool guy. Yeah. Wow! You know, big swirly wow. thumb. Yeah. We're going to explain why this was, like, the boy character. Go back. Aside from, like, obvious tropes in anime, I found it to be very cliche that they would purposefully make a, like, a girl character super, like, attractive or cute. And, like, oh, but actually, it's a boy in disguise. I thought that was like just like kind of a, a lame trade at the time. Yeah. It wasn't meant to be some kind of a support of, you know, a certain group of people. They just did it for shock value in anime. Yeah. I, I mean, that, I think that's the thing I never really cared about it is it was supposed to be shock they value. They never did it for a good reason. Yeah. And it was always like annoying. Like I always wanted a better reason for it. It was never a good reason. <laughs> and they would always do like, okay, like shit like this is what they would do on like DeviantArt. It's like, mm -hmm. here's my anime girl. Also, it's a boy. It's like, why do people do this? Like, what's the point? I feel like they have more of a point to do it nowadays. They've kind of come well, up yeah. with their reasons, but... There's plenty of good reasons to do it now, but before they just did it for shock value and that was annoying. Yeah. Oh, this character was supposed to be based on how there's so many fucking characters that they'll make child prodigies. And there was a specific anime called pa Pony Pony Dash or something like that, where the teacher kind of looked similar to this. A baby teacher teaching and people like twice her age. Or we're just ripping on animes that pa people probably really like. Yeah, we're just sort of poking fun at some of the cliches in anime. All not that, anime cliches. Not that, that anything annoys. is like inherently an issue, but we just don't find them entertaining. Like. It's the same gripe that I have with a lot of shit that people just force into media where they put it in there, but they don't have a reason. Their reason is, I want it, but I gotta have this in there. But why? Now everyone's confused and any any chance you had of like making a meaningful character is gone off of just the novelty. Awesome. So I think that's why this video sort of fell flat for us because like we, we threw a bunch of novelties into a video and said, ooh, let's make something goofy out of this. In another dimension. And then this bullshit. This was Dalton's main yeah. gripe. So like, for me, I haven't watched a lot of anime and the main reason is I don't know where to fucking start. And every time I've asked people who, where to start, I, I've literally started fucking wars over the simple question of, hey, what anime should I watch? And then like a bunch of people like fucking weeaboos like congregated and started fighting each other. I'm just like, someone just have a normal conversation. This is for fun. This is entertainment. I don't know where to turn for like information on like what animes to watch. So I'm like, Emmy, you watch a lot. What would you watch? And then she She's showing me animes and she's having a hard time finding things outside of the perimeter of going to school because it seemed like when we were trying to like watch anime at that time that's like everything they were doing at the time 
just school animes and they knew that it wasn't that interesting. So most of them would be like, it's school, but secretly these students found another dimension in the in the janitor closet. <laughs> so we have the our, our teacher throwing them into another fucking yeah. dimension. She's like, I'm the new teacher, but actually I'm not. I'm going to kill you all. <laughs> This character is supposed to be is every cliche that goes on an anime that we don't like. This character was supposed that to like. That character is everything. Like everything is caused by this character. He's everything that's annoying. <laughs> my dearest friends are in trouble. I must save them. All right, here's my favorite part. Oh, we have all the references on the side too. I Do we have trouble. Yeah. All right, go back. All right, here. Oh my God. Yeah, we have references. So this, I'm assuming. <gasps> This is what we were basing things off of. Yeah! Okay, so the checkered was from Shugukara and the eggs. Um, the bit in the middle was uh, Tokyo Mew Mew. The, the gems around it was supposed to be Pretty Cure. And the whole heart locket is Sailor Moon. That's what her whole magical outfit is based on. And then we did this scene. Where and then like we finally got to do a magical girl transformation scene! I think the whole thing with this was um, we're like, okay, like everyone like makes these like magical transformations, but in reality, they're just fucking putting like outfits on. Like, yeah, they usually end up looking exactly like themselves, but in just a cuter outfit. So it's and actually her just getting dressed. Yeah. So like, <laughs> this is reality. This is like what she's imagining is happening. That's why when she's like so dramatic, the character reacts as if he's paying attention to side the left side not the right side yeah so nobody sees like this elegant transformation except for her plus the idea in magical girl anime is that nobody actually sees that happen I yeah transformed. all you did was change your clothes then she gets sad she gets sad and the heart breaks in the back yeah okay so her outfit is definitely a combination of sailor moon sailor chibi moon mew ichigo and some pre-cure i don't know Titties. Yeah, we were like, okay, we gotta make her like, be like that dumb bimbo who's like, oh, I don't know what's the going on. The moly blob, man. I'm, I don't I'm, know. Look at my titties. Oh, I'm so confused. And what? she's like mad. The, the Sundra is like, don't look. Don't fucking look. But she'll look. <laughs> she just looks anyway. Wait a minute. This isn't fair. Okay, hold Take on. This. Like, yeah. we have to stop every time because each, it seems like each line was like, okay, this is what I hate about anime. <laughs> All right. I, I cannot stand. I watched... Most of my experience with anime is like Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, like shit kids would actually watch. Not like your typical like weeaboo. Not one of those losers. Like fucking broken ass scenes like this. The writing for this scene, like it always pissed me off how Goku would do shit. He would always like do something stupid. Like that one scene in Dragon Ball Z where he's fighting Cell and Cell is like half dead and Goku's like, Ugh, I'm feeling kind of tired. Let me eat this pinto bean. Mm. Hey, Cell, you want the other one? And it's just like, why? Why are you doing this? You're, you want to annihilate him from destroying the human race or something. And you're just going to like, oh, it's got to be a fair fight, though. Like, Goku was such a douchebag. <laughs> like, fuck him. Like, I'm going to protect you guys, but it's got to be on my terms. I got to so, do it right, the right way. So this asshole gives... Our fair? teacher, Take the fucking the sword. <laughs> the only fucking weapon they had now belongs to the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, fucking what? Why would you do that, you Whoa. idiot? Wow, that was the vodka. <laughs> Just stops talking. <laughs> and his head is poop, and he's got little nipples. You nipples. <laughs> Clearly outnumber her. I'm a Her. boy. That's, oh, that's rude. right. That's right. That was the joke. All right. Now there's references in that whole pie scene. All right. That's just literally Inuyasha. That's Mikuru from Haruhi Suzumiya. That's literally just Iko. And that's supposed to be Taiga from Toradora. And his and heart is Super. broken because he was in love. In love. Even though he's 10. Emmy, animals. Never mind. We're not getting into that. <laughs> <laughs> he's one. He's Snoop Dogg, and two. He's an animal. This is everything I wrong with animals. I don't know how to. I, I really don't know how to object to something like that. It's just. It's just no anime. Uh -uh. It's just anime. We're not doing this. And then we got this bullshit. It's always. It always turns to this. Always. Oh, why don't you show us your window? Prove it. 
Mm. <laughs> Literally just Vegeta. I'm like, I mean, trace Vegeta and just and like, that's the end scene. And then we'll just zoom into it. <laughs> What's the point? Well, there's anime. Oh, yes. Uh, a thing about Flash, if you guys don't know much about Flash, this is typically not what people do. I have like the actual animations in here. Oh my <laughs> like, god. Like, grabbed from the FLA files. <laughs> yeah. This is a bloated ass file. People don't do that. Only I do that. I don't know if anyone else has ever done that. But that's how we used to do our, pre our previews at the bottom. These are just literally just the FLA files. Like, see, they've, they're even like broken when they're not cropped correctly. <laughs> which these videos will be getting into eventually. Wow. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this teardown of Team Desu.